Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Gripper Rip back here with another video for you guys today. In this video, I'm going to be talking about major deals in the sports card world that you guys need to capitalize on right now because I can guarantee you this is by far the absolute best deal you can score on a sports card right now. So before we get into that, I want to give a big thank you to everybody who has watched my videos over the last week. Last week, with the whole uh, short print debacle, was absolutely incredible. Um, you know, record-setting views on the channel, likes, comments, everything that you guys do, like, you know, subscribe, hit the bell, comment, like, all record-setting for the channel last week. So if you guys participated in any of that, a big round of applause to you guys. I'm not here if it's not for you. So you guys choose to watch me, and guess what? I'm going to keep putting out more videos. So, with that out of the way, and one more thing. I'm going to the Post Malone concert, well, I guess when this video goes live, tonight. So, the next time you see me, don't be surprised if my voice is completely gone. Because last time he came here in 2020, right before the whole, literally like a month before the whole world shut down, uh, my voice was like shot for like two days. So, um, yeah, if I come here on and make a video on Thursday, which I make a video every day, so if Thursday my voice is shot, you guys know what it's from, and I like to apologize in advance, because I could guarantee you, because I'm going to record the video for tomorrow, uh, literally right after I get home from the concert, so my voice will definitely uh, not be intact. So, with that out of the way, let's talk about some sports car deals right now. This is very interesting, um... Didn't think I would come on and make a video about this until I saw it in a Facebook group, which I had to do a double take on it at first because I did not think that this was true until I saw more people posting it. Sit down for this because you'll never see a sports car deal like this again, I promise you. What if I told you right now you can go to Walgreens and buy a blaster box of Topps product, any Topps product, for $2.50 a blaster box. No strings attached. Hand the cashier your $2.50 plus tax. What is that? I don't even know. Um, but hand hand the, um, what's that, $0.06 cents of tax, what, $0.18, cents, right? Hand the cashier $2.50. And 50 cents, and you're on your way with a Topps Blaster box. Like, guys, if you're not going to Walgreens right now, um, go to Walgreens. Now, I went to my local Walgreens today, and unfortunately, they don't actually sell Blaster boxes at my local Walgreens, which they've never done, so I knew this wasn't going to be a shock to me. Um, they sell, like, hanger boxes like this right here. You see a Series 2 and things like that. Um, they've never sold a blaster box, but for the people who have seen a blaster box at your local Walgreens, they are being clearanced right now for two dollars in about thirty ish. So basically, two fifty. Um, you'll never see a deal like this ever again. Um, you know, I thought these mega boxes I got from Walmart last week for literally more than half off for a deal. Yeah, um, if you're getting a blaster for $2, and Series 2 is in there, so theoretically, if you wanted to buy a lot of Series 2 and didn't have a lot of money on you, um, yeah, uh, buy all the blaster boxes that you possibly can. Think about it. $25 will get you 10 Typically, in today's world, 10 blaster boxes is $270 with tax and all that into it, so almost $300. You can get 10 blaster boxes for $27. Literally 90% off. You'll never see a deal like this, I promise you, in the sports card realm, especially with how crazy it is today. You'll never see a deal like this again. And this just reminds me of the good old days. I want to bring up a story. I, I can't believe I did this to myself, but there's a good reason behind it. Back, I think, like in... December of 2018 or January of 2019, I saw 
2018 update fat packs for $2 clearance. You know, at the time, they were, um, I think, still five, so they're half off. And would you believe my idiotic self left them? And you may be saying to yourself, well, why is that? Because I literally bought, like, hundreds upon hundreds of dollars of 2018 update. I could just show you guys some singles right here. Like, I have a bunch of Juan Soto um, rookie cards. Here, here's just a couple to show. Here's um, Juan Soto 2018 update rookie cards. I have four right here, or five, I should say, right here alone. And there is a ton more I have um, somewhere else. I just don't have them on me right now uh, in this stack next to me. But I can't believe I left them. I think there was like five or six there. Uh, but, you know... For good reason. I mean, I could have easily bought them. You know, I, was, I wasn't working at the time. This is, I think, when I was like 16 years old, 17 years old. So this is a while ago, of course. But I can't believe, st like, still to this day, I actually left those there knowing how, you know, at the time, of course, we couldn't predict how good that set was going to be for long-term investing. Nobody could predict it. I mean, well... You could kind of see it coming with Shohei, Juan Soto in there, Ronald Acuna Jr., Shane Bieber. There are a lot of good rookie cards in 2018 update. But, you know, regarding to 2022 update, four years later, um, I think we're going to be in for a good treat this year with 2022 update. You know, getting, you know, talking about update. Um, you know, we have the likes of, you know, who we've seen in Series 1 and Series 2, O'Neill Cruz, Wander Franco, and then we have... New faces like Seiya Suzuki, C.J. Abrams, Hunter Green, um, you know, Spencer Torkelson, Bobby Wood Jr., Julio Rodriguez. We're going to see a very, very good set in 2022 update. And the checklist should be out next week, guys, believe it or not. Um, looks like it is releasing October 12th. So October 12th, if you guys are interested, head to your local local or if your local card store and you will find some 2022 tops update, um, probably for about the highest I have seen them going for on the internet right now is $125. Uh, with that checklist, that's justifiable. But you know, my local, like my card guy, will probably sell them for like $99. He sold Series One for $99 and Series Two for $99. So um, you know, and Jumbos were $200. I like to think that he will keep it the same. I don't see why he would change it. He's been consistent uh, throughout the entire year, even with the whole short print craze of, um, you know, 20 or I should say Series 2. He still kept those boxes the exact same amount. So, guys, I just want to make this short little video um, about talking about head to your local Walgreens right now. And you may be asking yourself, how long does this ask or how long does this last for? Well, it lasts until either one, they're all sold out, or two, um, Saturday. So after Saturday, when Sunday the new week starts, this deal is off the table. So head to your local Walgreens right now because I literally had no idea this was going on um, until someone posted it in a Facebook group. A couple people actually posted it in their groups. Um, so yeah, if you want blaster boxes of Tops products only. Now these don't work for Panini Football products, unfortunately. I know a lot of you guys collect football as well. That does not work for football. But um, if you want some cheap blaster boxes, I think I've seen uh, all, all the products. I've seen someone grab some Series 1. I've saw some people grab some Series 2. I saw some Heritage. I saw some Gypsy Queen. So if you guys want any of that stuff, I mean, $2.50, you can't really go wrong with that. I mean, that's an absolute bargain. Like, you're never, I'll, I'll continue to say it. You'll never find a deal like that ever again in the sports card realm. Like 90% off, that's that's really, really good. So, with that out of the way, let's get to a pack. And we're not going to open a pack of Chrome uh, Anniversary today because I was... Let's go off the beaten path here. I have a Post Malone um, card from Allen and Ginter. He actually had a card in Allen and Ginter in 2019 and i have it in my room somewhere i'm trying to find it i'm in row a tomorrow and after the show he signs autographs so i'm gonna bring it and hopefully get it signed i don't know 
how I can get down to uh, where I need to be, but I will be close enough to the point where I can potentially get an autograph from after the end of the show. So I'm trying my hardest to find it, and while I was trying to find it, I stumbled across a 2022 Series 1 Silver Pack I never opened. So we're going to open this today, and it actually kind of feels heavy. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This has a little bit of weight to it, so I don't know. We'll see what's in here. I I don't remember. I mean, I did buy Series 2, or I should say Series 1 hobby boxes. I thought I opened all the packs, but I guess I did not. Oh, Nice tops. <laughs> Way to jip me again. It doesn't look like we... Uh, oh, we do have a color. We do have a color in here, I think. I see something there in the back. Nice tops. Way to jip me out. Nice. <laughs> That's not a color. That's a freaking advertisement. Ugh. Sammy Long. Jan Moncada. And Pete Alonzo, which I have an autograph of. That's the color I saw right here. Man, tops. Fun fact, I actually did pull, if you watched my Series 1 break video, I did pull a Wander Franco Mojo Series 1 card for somebody. So I did pull one, just not for me. So guys, that is it for this video. Let me know if you guys go to your local Walgreens and let me know what you find. Um, like I said, I went to mine. Mine never sold blaster boxes, only hanger boxes, unfortunately. So I don't, this deal doesn't apply to me. But hopefully it applies to you guys and hopefully you guys score big on something. And I'll see you guys in the next one.